Hey, what's up guys and girls, it is time for some more Puzzles and Dragon Z on Nintendo 3DS. This is part 12 of the little series we've got going on right now. Not really sure how much more I'm going to do, but we'll keep on going until the time feels right. We may actually end up going all the way to the end. We'll see how it goes. And here we are, Syrup and ourselves here, taking a bit of fresh air. Um, there's a couple things we need to do before we actually properly get started. Um, one is like a couple side quests, and two, the usual. Um, it's kind of like the way we've been starting episodes recently, by hatching these eggs, boosting our monster stats, and so on. It's actually very, very, um, it's, it's kind of like a necessity to actually do this before every mission because some of these missions are starting to get very, very tough and lengthy. So having the tools for each level is definitely going to be a great advantage to getting the job done. So we hatched a flamey. I think we've actually got one of these. Okay, no, this is new. So wait, do we have one more or wait, what's going on? Oh, we had one more. Alright, my bad, my bad. So yeah, what I, maybe what I should have, should have done with these was use it to boost the stats of something else. But never mind, never mind. We'll go and see if we can actually evolve anything now. It's been a while since we've actually evolved anything. We can evolve something we currently have already. But I don't really feel like there's any need to do so. Um, we can go with... Okay, there's quite a few options here. We can go with the flamey. Um, a mutant type. Alright, so mutant types are actually kind of like a new species for us so I guess this is gonna be all right we'll go for it we'll go for it I mean this guy does look kind of tiny and useless in a way but once we evolve him actually he looks very similar to shiny if you guys remember him he's the light type and uh, they look identical they're just different color and one represents light this one fire of course so maybe they're gonna be like similar in abilities and stuff like that but this is considered a rare mega flamey all right we'll give this a shot I mean we'll give him a go I'm not really sure what to expect from him but I mean he can't be all that bad. And I'm gonna quickly check his stats. Uh, Mega Flamey, 400 health points, 130 attack. Uh, that's the original one. So he's only level one. Now we'll go down to the last machine. There's so many machines now. And I think there's gonna be more. There's like other rooms as well. We haven't really accessed those yet. But um there's probably gonna be a few more things. Okay, we've got no eggs. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna have to leave that for now. But yeah, there's something which caught my attention. I actually did like some sort of update which, okay we'll, we'll get the daily rune first, unless I actually, no I did that last night because I was recording super late last night, um, yeah into the early hours of the morning. So um, from here you can actually access these special events if you have the relics or the runes. We actually found the Metal Drag Dragon rune in the last video, or maybe the one before, and this is where you actually use it, um, it, it kind of like unlocks hidden levels where which allows you to actually unlock secret items but some of these levels are actually very very difficult and we'll throw in we'll give him one of these I'm not sure what it's gonna do for us but we'll give him one of these I don't really want to go through this right now but I thought I may as well show you guys um, in case you were wondering what this kind of stuff does so it's only another stage I guess it's not all that bad uh, we may as well attempt it we'll go with this team and I don't really think it matters who we take with us, it's, it's another stage, so this should be pretty damn quick. I may actually just end up cutting this part of the video out and uh, showing you guys until the end because it's going to be very, very simple. Alright, cool guys, so we finally cleared this area. It was actually, it, it wasn't really tough at all, but we were facing those same enemies throughout the whole of the level. So it did take a while to actually defeat them. Oh, we got four mystery eggs. So maybe that was kind of like our, our prize there, um, four of those eggs. They, they can be really useful. It actually did help us level up some of our monsters quite a bit. But yeah, that's going to be all for now. I thought I'd just show you guys that. So moving on. Alright, finally back to the main story. I mean, they're, they're pretty cool, those things. That was just a novice one. So I mean, you don't really expect too much from it. But four eggs is pretty good for a novice level. But back into the world we go. Into the Nirikani area. And we are one step away from that final boss battle so yes we'll start things here in the waterway and um waterway waterway so maybe we should go with wood I, I really don't know wait does it actually tell you what to expect here oh yes yeah, so we're gonna be fighting bubblies baddies and a zabgon zabgon which one's zabgon so i think that's like one of everything so um we'll go with like a mixed team uh, we'll go with the team we were currently just using one thing which is uh, feels like a bit of a letdown is the mega shiny we have here i don't want to be really too mean to him but um, I just don't really feel like he's he really fits in our team. But we'll take Enigma with us and give us the extra light assistance that we probably will need with Mega Shiny on our side. 
and wow this this level is actually kind of huge wow this is this is this is huge guys look at this map um i feel like i just want to take the direct path there like the quickest path because some of these can be very very lengthy so i'm gonna try and go straight ahead then again yeah straight ahead is probably gonna be a wise move all right let's see what we can do Oh, I just screwed that last one up. Never mind. That was a pretty good combo to get us started. All right, this is where this is where the challenge begins, guys. All right, sweet. Yeah, I've literally like made three videos of this within the last five hours. I, I had like not much sleep at all. Yesterday was um, the day of Comic Con for me. I'll probably upload this a few days after. But um, it's it's been a long, long day. A long day. What am I doing with all this grass here? Wood, I should say. But yeah, oh, I did manage. Oh god, we were supposed to be going straight on. My bad. Um, um, we need to make those. Oh god. Um, <laughs> we gotta be careful. We want to go. We want to go straight on. So we need to make a blue match. Oh, we made green as well. Oh no, no, we're going right. Wait, 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 we could be going straight on. Woo, that was lucky. Woo, that was lucky. Holy smokes, okay, now we've got to break through the through the barrier. Oh, dang. Oh. That was kind of intense. I know it wasn't really a battle or anything, but that was kind of intense for me. All right, I kind of like my team at the moment. Everything just seems to be going well on the, on the, on the puzzle board here, so maybe it's just luck, but um, it's got a nice uh, variety in our team here, especially with our new... Wood barn, whatever you want to call him. Um, dang, this is. Hmm. So many options to go with here. Wow, that, that looked large, but it won't really be that effective. As you can see, I can't believe I got myself stuck in the corner there. Um. Right. As a pretty solid water move, but we don't really want to go water, do we? But then again, it almost did the job. This next move should wrap this one up once and for all. But yeah, I, I literally got not much sleep at all, so apologies for I don't know if something crazy does happen or I fall asleep during this video. Just thought it was worth mentioning. But yeah, um, it was like a ton of games I really want to get, but I thought I'd just stick to this one. As there, I mean, there's so many options these days. Plus, there's so many things I have not even played yet. So I felt like this was the safe decision to just stick with this. All right, nice. There we go. Oh, one game you guys should check out. Um, I managed to play a little bit of it at my Comic Con. It's only a visual novel, um, but it's called Stains Gate. It has been out in in Japan for um, maybe I'm not entirely sure how long it's been there for, but it has been there for at least a year or so. You probably you probably find it on YouTube now, it's, but it'll be all in Japanese. Whereas if you're into visual novels or in just like great stories or anything like that, then I mean, it's definitely worth checking out. Because I play, I mean, playing for like 50 minutes is not really enough time to get into it, but I really did enjoy. Uh, the dialogue, the animation was really awesome. Even the, um, what you call it, the voice acting was pretty cool as well. So uh, I would definitely say it's worth checking out if you're into that kind of stuff. And uh, I think it's actually a pretty cheap game as well. You'll find it on the PS3 and the PS Vita. I'm not really sure which system I'm, I'm going to buy it on. Because yeah, it's definitely one I will be buying. Um, so look out for that on the channel, guys. But I think, I mean, you can play it on the PS TV as well. It's PS TV compatible. But if you had to make a decision, maybe the Vita, because you can like take it on the go, that's if you have a Vita. If not, then just obviously just set, settle for the PS3 version. But um, yeah, it does look really cool, I must admit that. Alright, cool. So yeah, I did actually do a bit of research into that game. And I think it lasts around 25 hours, which is pretty good. I mean, it's not really full priced, so... You get your money's worth, I would say. Now, my only things about visual novels is 
I mean, it may have multiple endings. Alright, ha, time for your punishment. The Paradox Trooper is here. Yeah, it may have multiple endings, I'm not entirely sure about that. And I, you would imagine so. Because even like the ones you can download for free on um, like Steam and stuff like that, sometimes they have the same. So uh, I would imagine so, but I'm not really 100% sure on that. But uh, if you guys are interested, I'll be sure to find out for you. Or just look it up online. Um, it, it's a pretty cool game. It comes out next week in the UK. Or next month, I should say. Early next month. And yeah, I can't wait to actually try that one out for myself. Okay. Water, water, water. Ah, I screwed that one. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, let's give this another shot. Oh, we leave that one there. That was a pretty cool move. That was pretty cool. And that was enough. Wait, that was even that was just a burst battle. So yeah, now we're one step away from the boss. It may actually throw us into another little battle before we face that boss, but I guess I got my punishment. You sure did, Mr. Trooper. Or Mrs. Trooper, we should say, or Miss Trooper. I don't know. It could be married, could not be. Anyway, moving on. Alright, this has definitely come a lot more lengthy as we've we just go for a basic drop down there. I don't really want to mess up that move. Okay, maybe we should have messed up that move. It did literally nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright. Alright, cool. Have you noticed, guys, there's so many heart orbs in the field today? I don't even know why. I don't really like it, to be honest. I mean, it's going to save your butt, but... We're trying to deal damage right now. Just when I thought my team was pretty much sorted. Where are we going with this? Alright, can we take another one down? Yes, we certainly can. And last but not least... It is your turn to die. And we'll get that healing in there just to prepare ourselves for the boss. Do you know what? I'm getting pins and needles right now. When I record these videos, I sit so awkwardly. Wow, that was a huge combo. I didn't even count that one. I was too busy adjusting my seating position. <laughs> Alright, 12, 13. Alright, I think that's probably my largest one so far. Not that we really needed it, but it's always nice to see. Alright, cool. We've been going for... Well, I did actually probably well end up, end up cutting the early part of the video. But I have been going for around 21 minutes now. And uh, I guess we'll just like clear this whole area before we do move on. Alright, we've got two Z orbs here um, to play with, so let's see, let's see. Alright, we may as well just go for like something basic because these Z orbs can be quite punishing. And it's kind of backed me up. I mean, one was a water Z orb, so we're up against water element, so you can't really expect much from that. But it worked out quite nicely. And it actually worked out quite nicely as well. Wait, is that an... Oh, no. Yeah, that's another Z-Orb in there. This one's definitely going to be the killer if this one doesn't manage to finish it off. We got a Wood Style. Yeah, that's that's enough. But we had the Wood Style Z-Orb, which would have definitely wrapped this one up. And there we go. That's the first one done and dusted. Did we actually find anything there? We found the Zabgon chip. Okay. That'll probably allow us to evolve one of our monsters, but we currently have done that already. So we'll just be, like, having a duplicate of him. So Pirate's Den is where we're heading next. The Bubbly, the Baddie, and the Slash, who sounds... Well, he probably isn't new, but he does sound new. Um, I was quite happy with the team I just used, so we'll stick with that. And Nomoto, Ryu... Um, we'll go with this one, Gohei. I think that's pronounced. Raiders attack your monsters a little after clearing five or more water orbs at once. Hmm, could be useful. Because we were making some huge combos there, and this is another huge map. Um, I'm not really for all the huge maps right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just because like a late night, so um, I'm not like 100% focused right now. I tend to say that quite a lot when recording these videos. But um, yeah, that's what late nights do too. I've literally had a late night every day for like the last month or so. Last month or two. 
happening. It's kind of getting out of, out of control. So I need to improve on that. Oh, what? That didn't finish it? Alright, there we go, there we go. So yeah, the, the, in the last video I did, there was actually like five levels in like one, if you know what I mean. And it actually lasted a long, long time, which was kind of frustrating at 3 a.m. in the morning. But um, this is kind of why I'm trying to take the quickest path here. Uh, straight on would probably be the quickest, but then turning right is probably the most interesting. So we'll go right. Oh god. Alright, we have to try this again. Oh my god, go away! Oh my god, literally everyone we make, there's always something to counteract it. Um, oh my god, this is this is getting crazy. There we go, we're finally going right. Dang, that was really annoying. Alright, so this actually fully... Yeah, apologies guys, this actually fully restores... Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the one, this little um, thing we're about to run into on the map there. I think that really fully restores our skill bar. So, um, not that we actually need it done. Actually, because of that, we may as well just go crazy with our um, skill points here. Alright, one down. And then we just throw in a flame breath, even though it's not really going to be too effective. It's going to help. Actually, that flame breath was pretty tough. Anyway, there we go. So yeah, these things are quite useful, but they're kind of a rarity these days. And you probably see a lot more of them maybe later in the game because things will start to get really tough and really lengthy in some of the levels. But item drop rates double for a while. Oh, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's the other one which um, restores your skill. You can see that like little mermaid kind of thing there. Uh, maybe that's the one. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. Oh wow, alright, 8 hit combo, but yeah, there's like so many little different things there that you'll find in this game, which is which is nice to keep things um, fresh. It's always a good sign when you get mixed up with everything, <laughs> it always means there's a lot, a lot to, um, a lot to see. But which way do we want to go? Treasure chest on the right, something on the left. Um, I feel like we should probably just go to the right. I, I like treasure, I mean, you can't really argue with treasure, can you? So let's see, this is probably the longest route in the, on this map, but hopefully the most worthwhile. Oh, all the way around, can we go around, can we go around? Alright, we just made it with the Z Orb, not that it's going to be super effective or anything, but it was quite a big combo, and it was enough to take all three of them down, a puzzle chip as well. Wow, that was pretty impressive, definitely worth it, so bubbly, bubbly chip, bubbly chip, bubbly chip, bubbly chip. Oh god. Wait, what does this mean? Clear 8? Clear 7 in the... What the hell does this mean? What does it mean? Ah, oh. This is going to be kind of difficult. Um, okay, we, can, we got 4 moves here, which is a nice little bonus, I guess. Alright, so that's the 5 purples down. Um... The only tricky part is to clear seven in the group. I'm gonna kind of like prepare for this move, so ignore some of the things I do here. All right, so we've got we've got about seven um, water orbs very close together, so this could be quite easy from here. Um, let's just count them: one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, we've got 11 on the field. We need to clear them all at the same time. You can't really just do them in um, turns. So we've got to make this one count. So I'm going to switch that one in there. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's keep on thinking. Ah, 
That was a sweet move. That was really awesome. And there we go. That is the seven cleared. Probably more than seven. And uh, inside we find a Metal Dragon Rune Z. Which is going to be used in that area we first looked at um, when I got this video started. Kind of like that secret area to find cool stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely pleased with that. And let's keep on moving. I'm really, I'm really psyched about that, that combo I just made. I, I feel so smart after that. But yeah, let's not get too carried away. Alright, so many hearts right now. Hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but there's been like so many water orbs here for some reason. Finally we've reached the boss again. I'm hoping there's not going to be five levels in this one. Five is way too much and... Ugh. Oh, I haven't even got out of bed yet. <laughs> That's how bad it is, but scrambled, obviously. It's Moo Moo and Jinjin! I love these guys. No, fried! Fried? That's so greasy. Scrambled with ketchup is the best. You don't get it at all. My point is to dip things into the yolk and clean it up with a piece of toast. <laughs> what are you guys arguing about now? I think it's about eggs. Don't interrupt, we're setting an argument about breakfast eggs. <laughs> so yeah, scrambled eggs are nicer obviously. Fried, fried, fried. You're both wrong, soft boiled all the way. Or I mean, we don't care. Damn you syrup, stay out of this. Wait, what? Oh, you're going to pay for getting into the middle of this. I did warn you syrup. Who are you to boss us around anyway? Moo Moo, I call it truce for now. Yeah, truce. Let's show them once and for all. Yeah, time to meet my water dragon, Cutlass. And my sea dragon, Mizuchi. You won't survive our two for one special this time, monkey. So yeah, we, we fought these guys countless times now and they always seem to come out with something new. A new argument, a new monster. They never seem to surprise you. But um, this should be interesting. So we'll start things off with our best friend here, Mega Smash. Here we go. This is actually a very, very strong move, but it does sacrifice a bit of his health. And yeah, maybe not as strong as I thought. But then again, he's only level 10 because he's kind of like a new addition to our team. So we gotta, we, we're going to have to be extra, extra careful here. Alright. That's like a huge combo full of dark type. I'm not really sure if that's going to be that effective or not. Yeah, literally nothing. Spiral Tide. Oh my god, this doesn't look pretty. Okay, that was kind of punishing. And Charge. Holy smokes, this is not looking good. Okay. We just gotta focus on those wood combos, guys. Uh, that's gonna be key to our success. Plus, huge combos are really, really useful as well. The more you make, then the more it just builds up the attack. So, um... Wait, force power-up pills. Oh my god, this, he's like doing the ultimate setup right now. He's preparing to just destroy us, so we need to just go crazy here. We'll go with a flame breath. I know it's not gonna be effective. Uh, but it may actually help us take down at least one of these monsters. We're going to focus all of our attack on the dragon on the left as he's closest to dying. And yeah, so we'll target him. There we go. And now we just pray for the best. Come on, please, take him down. Alright, sweet, we've taken him down. Alright, one to go. But then again, this guy is fully charged. Also, Spiral Wave is coming incoming oh my god that was super beast okay uh we need some healing in here quick time pronto um uh. all right cool cool little combo we got a fair amount of healing in there uh, i think we actually need to wrap this one up within the next turn or so um, I may actually just focus on healing for this turn. Probably would be wise, to be honest. But that's a decent combo. That may actually be enough. We got the slight healing in there, which was necessary. Um, yeah, we didn't really take him down here, but we may have to... Okay, he's charged. That's, that's suited us really, really well here. We can probably finish this with a basic match, such as... Um... Wait a second. Yeah, such as this. This will, this will probably be enough. 
Uh, it was a Z orb there. So uh, there we go. That was kind of that was kind of tough. I was I was a little worried for myself there. Moomoo and Jinjin, you did well this time, but not well enough, unfortunately. We got two chips there to help us evolve. We leveled up someone. Okay, I wasn't even focusing there, but a Water Dragon Cutlass chip, which is going to be useful. I think we are actually using that monster for ourselves. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to evolve that once again. Wow, we actually found quite a bit here. Metal Dragon Rune Z, Sea Dragon Mizuchi chip, Water Dragon Cutlass chip. So yeah, pretty much what they were just using, but uh, as this episode ends, the Mighty Twins crawl from the field of battle. Episode, this isn't TV. Kind of is, this is YouTube, damn it. <laughs> but next episode, will our twins make it to the final fight and prove their ultimate might? Tune in next time to find out in part 12. See ya. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We're still going. There's no next episode. <laughs> right, you think this is cute or something? Let's get out of here, Moo Moo. Right, Jinjin. We hate sitting through the credits anyway. See you around, monkey. You too, Syrup. Next episode. So yeah, maybe we'll see him in the next episode, guys. What's next is that we're going to cancel their show. Alright, cool. I really enjoyed that little dialogue towards the end there. Alright, but I think we... Oh, wait! We've actually finished it. That was kind of cool. That was um, very short. I mean, the last one was very lengthy, so this one was a bit more short. So maybe I actually won't cut out that opening part of the video because this only lasted around 34 minutes now, which is still quite lengthy. But anyway, Captain Watari, you've taken back the frozen corridor, but blockade on the port in Kanai has been lifted. Boats are now free to travel from the Venezuela, so now it's time for you to set sail in great danger. Sweet, I get my boat ride. Uh, I don't like the sound of great danger though. Oh well, let's get going monkey. Those troublesome twins Mu and Jinjin will surely use the temple Sky Dragon in battle. Prepare well before you leave, and focus yourself on what will be your most difficult mission yet. Alright, sounds very interesting. So yeah, the next level we do, or next stage or area we do confront will be like the final one of this world. And we we'll probably will introduce us to a brand new monstrous boss battle. So look forward to that guys. For now we're going to quickly check what's inside this egg we just found. Wait, was it? Oh no, it was the chips. So I was going to see if we could actually evolve a certain monster. But we do have four here of the same egg. We'll use one. We'll just hatch one for ourselves. And we'll probably cash in the other three on uh, strengthening some of our monsters. Oh, it's this guy. Oh yeah, we found this in the... Metal Dragon, yeah, we found this in that like little special side mission we did at the get-go. So it's kind of cool to have them. I mean, they're very good in defense, but they're kind of weak. They remind, they're pretty much like a Metapod in Pokemon. Great defense, super weak. So yeah, um, let's see what these chips do for us. Please evolve something, please evolve something. And it evolves nothing as of yet. We can evolve this Zabgon though. I'm pretty sure we're using something similar. Yeah, the Zableon. Um, that's that what it evolves into, so I don't really feel there's much need to evolve that right now. So, I guess we'll leave things there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you do want to see more, you know what to do. Be sure to show your appreciation by hitting that thumbs up, and be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'm trying to keep the variation coming, guys. Pokemon Shuffle, this Mario Kart, um, Evolve. I'm trying to keep it all coming in, but the main ones will be Pokemon Shuffle and Puzzles and Dragons. So... Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!